We struck early today with a purchase, lot 559, Tavachi, obviously a Group 1 winning sprinter miler. Uh, out of a Group 2 place, Savaville Mare. Adrian, you loved this colt? I did. Look, um, I haven't had too much experience with, with Tavachi, but I must say we've got a really talented daughter of his in the stable, so that certainly gave me confidence with the stallion. And, and Bruce, you've spoken a lot of uh, statistical analysis of stallions, and, and in particular our success with certain sire lines. High Chaparral, I think, may have been one of those highest ranking ones with Fastnet Rock. So, uh, look, you've got a son of High Chaparral here, proven in Australia. Look, uh, from a top class family. So, in terms of sort of ticking the boxes and putting all the percentages in, in your favour, we've got a we've got an early September fold here out of a, a stakes, stakes performed Mayor of Zavabil. First fold, uh, second dam by O'Reilly, stakes winner. Uh, third dam, stakes winner. So, yeah, there's a lot of depth there. Uh, a lot on the pedigree side and in, in the female side to give us a good push here. Um, love horses out in New Zealand, good tough horses. He looks exactly that. I think uh, the two people next door to me here, Claudia and, and Andrew Adrian, went to New Zealand last year and bought a couple with the WS brand on them. One is Tilliam, who won so well uh, on Saturday in the Lonro Plate, a really high class daughter of Savabil. So it's not only a mix of the blood and the brand that works in the stable, but this mix of blood just in, um, in itself work well together, hasn't it, Claudia? Like High Shap roll over, over the Beal, yeah. done deal. Um, it, it's a huge strike rate that High Shap's a Beal cross, so um, highlighted by a weapon and done deal. Love the horse, love the brand, and uh, these guys were massively bullish on him, and I just had to follow suit because I just thought to myself, these guys, uh, 12 months ago, <laughs> they did it, they're gonna do it again. <laughs>